Assalamu alaikum. Uh, hello everyone. Today we will talk about uh, two important panel co-integration approaches that are widely used by the researchers. Uh, many people have asked me to do Westerlund and Edgerton 2008 panel co-integration test. Uh, but before going into that, uh, we will first do a simple panel co-integration test by Westerlund uh, 2007. Uh, this is quite basic. The command for this is basically xt waste. Uh, you can install it and the dependent variable followed by the independent variables. And uh, the, these are the all, uh, everything is included in this code. So this is a simple code and I know most of you are familiar with this one. So we can do it with constant and trend or uh, we, we can do it with both. So this is just a simple uh, Westerlund test results. However, the most important test, uh, basically the simple Westerlund ECM approach is uh, it can incorporate heterogeneity and uh, cross-section dependence. However, uh, it cannot incorporate structural breaks. So for that purpose, we have a, a new approach uh, uh, by, developed by Westerlund and Edgerton. Uh, these codes are from the uh, Westerlund website. You can visit there and you can obtain these codes. I have already set up my codes, the data and variables. You can see uh, this is my dependent variable followed by the independent variable. So uh, you, you can design your code or you can write the code uh, according to this procedure. Uh, this is my data. Uh, let me tell you that basically I have uh, this is the format of a data like uh, I have nine cross sections so I have nine columns so I have uh, basically put all my data in columns and uh, you can see this is basically the uh, time period and uh, cross sections and uh, the, the rest are basically everything is provided in the code uh, we can do uh, it basically for uh, no shape level shift and we can also do it for the regime shift. As I told you earlier, the, the very key thing in the gauze is basically uh, to set your working directory. So let me just set this to my working directory. I have made changes in these codes because uh, the original form, uh, you will not see these changes. So I have just set up my data. I have shown you my data. And from here, I will also just uh, change my working directory. And once I uh, run the code, you can see I got the result. This is basically for no shift. And these are basically the, the values I got. And these are the estimated breaks. And you can, you can do it for the level shift. And this is for the level shift, you can see. And we can also do it for the regime shift. This is for the regime shift. I'm telling you again and again, uh, the data uh, are basically I have used is just for the practice purpose so you can change each and everything according to your own uh, requirement or according to your data so the main thing is that you you just need to follow these codes and then you just need to put it in the original codes and then uh, you can run this uh, test smoothly